Hello everyone, I just decided to do a quick video. Uh, it's based on a project I've done using the Elegoo Uno R3 kit that I did a little de video of uh, earlier this week or last week, whenever it was. I just decided to do a basic project using the 8x8 LED matrix supplied with the kit. This LED matrix has got the Max 72XX chip on it, which basically means that all the connections are handled by that chip. There's five pins used for the matrix itself, so that is your ground, your 5 volts, your clock, data, and CS. Um, to do this project, I used some code that Elegoo had provided for the LED matrix. Um, the way they'd done it was having Arduino written along the LED and then going through other stuff. I hacked their code a bit and changed it to be what I've done. So it was just running a constant loop when I first tried. And now it is a simple countdown timer with a push button start. So what we'll do if we just push this. I'm not totally sure if it is one second interval, so it's counting down at. And I just decided to put something extra on the end because someone asked me when I was developing it, why does it just go to one? What happens next? And I thought I'll put that in. Um, with all the um, digits and the heart, I had to work out which LEDs would be on. But to do that, I didn't just sit there and look at the LED. I found a website, which if I remember, I will put in the description. It's basically something on GitHub that is an LED matrix editor. So you can either bring up set symbols and stuff, or you can click on the LEDs and model it before doing this. Um, the way that I did it was each row or no, each column of LEDs in this you've got eight bits so each column is a byte um, and then you just have to define each bit whether it's on or off so if it if it's B 0 that is all of them off if it's B11111111, that's all of them on. So you just put B and then whatever. And then you define each column. And then define that in Arduino as being one character. And then you just go through and define each byte. Um, from there, you have to put to show them one by one. Then it is, I put this in a loop and outside the loop I put an if statement for the button and then inside the if statement I ran run the countdown and, and then clear the display. So you get push the button, it works. So pushing the button was triggering the if statement now it's running through does the heart then the last part of the if statement is clear the display before when I was trying it it just kept the heart or the final character on the screen which wasn't that great so you push it if you push it again it doesn't do anything because it's running through the it's running through you can't interrupt it and put interrupts in because each one steps through characters displayed thousand millisecond delay on that then it goes so yeah, that's a basic countdown timer you can use it you can put different graphics on the end if you can fit it in an 8x8 matrix you could just have it as is there's a lot of different ways you could use this um, you could even change the matrix for 
an LCD display, but I felt like using a matrix for this just because it's cool. Um, but yeah, that's the basics of it. You could even change your input device for a switch. If you wanted to, you could probably get a keypad where you've got to type code and then it starts, but that's getting a bit complex and I just felt like doing a quick one for this. Not sure what my next project's gonna be on it. Just whatever, take your fancy, which this one was. It was just a quick decision of, oh, I wonder if I can do it. And I did. I had to use a bit of the code, as I say, that was provided by Elegoo for the LED matrix, just because I wasn't totally sure where to start with it. But I swapped it all around to how I wanted it to run. And that is the final project. Anyway, this was just a quick video. Not sure when my next one's going to be, what it's going to be about, but if you like it, just click like. Leave any comments if you want to. Check out my other videos, and I'll be back at some point with another one for you. Bye for now.